the way to say this is that it is actually mostly a war a war between generations and between boomers and millennials and uh, gen z's and gen x so you you have a group of people that equate uh, the optimism of uh, gen z's to uh, naivety and uh, they believe that their pessimism is actually uh reason you know carefully thinking about things you know so uh, this was uh it started long before the answers actually but they all go back to the answers the world was gripped by the break it down philosophy that was mostly coming from the west actually mostly coming from the west west but it was until the answers protest you know the answer protest that they saw at least the generation the boomers and the millennials actually saw that worlds can turn into actions in at least in nigeria that your worlds can actually manifest into into actions that there can be organization outside of those worlds you know it was the first first evidence to them that the that the gods are the gods are died and uh, the, there are new rules now and the rules are yours to make those are those are their discovery during the entire protest but you know that was the way they saw uh, I try to actually exclude myself from the gen- this generation because uh, I I don't belong there, you know. I, I share their disdain, but I do not share their uh, for this particular generation. But I do not share uh, their reaction to it. I do not share the reaction to it. I mean, this this same generation, this generation is uh, the ones that believe that men are useless and uh, and marriage is useless. If you don't know what offense is for, you tear it down, you know. And uh, you will you are all about sex because that's basically what it, what they talk about. But the thing is that you actually are not having much more sex than they are. They actually have more sex than you than you are, you know. You just watch more porn than they do. You know, you you guys actually have negative reads. You don't get a lot, a lot of girls and the guys and and up. You don't get a lot of girls as much as they did. So you just you watch more porn than they do, but they believe that you have more sex than they do. That is that, that is their belief. And then the answers came, you know. Uh the it was actually independent of uh, the police reactions. You you they didn't they didn't like the police, you didn't like the police. You know, they they had nothing to do with that. But their own direction for the protest actually uh was different what they were looking for was different you know they were looking for for the po- uh the SRs to be reorganized you were looking for them to be disbanded all of them sent to you know and uh, you stopped listening to them the fem- it was the feminist coalition or so that actually uh, got the money together i mean they were actually crowdfunding and actually raising the money together you showed them that you didn't need them actually you know, you show them that you didn't need them. Uh, you were, they were, you are looking, you were looking for the holistic approach. All of them go home, you know, all of them go home, which I thought was actually not visible and, uh, at, at the time, but they were actually, they were looking for reassimilation and, and, and accountability. And when you couldn't get what you wanted, you accused them. This is it. Uh, you see the same thing, the same thing through everything that this particular generation does. Uh, you you accuse them of working with the establishment. You accuse them of uh, of you know treachery. You accuse them of treason. You said they were working for the establishment. They were not. This they still are not. You know, and I will get there. Yeah, and uh, uh, to make things worse, you know, you you did the same thing that the the boomers did. You did the same thing the boomers did. Uh, you repressed their freedom of, of expression. You insulted them, you know. You insulted them. You said uh, they were they were nothing and they were grifters. I think that was the name they were using for Sega at the time. Uh, I don't actually agree with anything Sega actually stands for. Almost anything Sega actually stands for. But that was the words that they were using for him. They call him. They called him grifters. They called him. And you know, it it was this part of. Uh, there are some things that actually happened that actually happened before the shootout at the Lake Gate. There were some bunnies, you know, that actually happened. Of course, you know the the governments were doing their things. I mean, the thugs and all. But there were some bonnies, police station bonnies. I think that was about about some police station that was born that were born before the actually the shooting happened at Lekito Gate. And uh, to make things worse, you know, after they saw this generation millennials saw that uh, they they were not needed, they went to the police. They went back to uh, you know MC Uluomo because I don't know why they did that. Honestly, I can't figure out why they did that. I can't understand why. But I just think they do not hate those people. As much as they hate you, that is the best explanation right now. 
They do not treat those people as much as they hate you. They, you know, they 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 relate with them uh, uh, much more than they actually can actually relate with you. Because uh, even when those people were fighting millennials and boomers, they know that a man's food was uh, a no go area. Don't don't go for his food. Destroy him some other way, but don't go for his food. But you, the rules are yours. You have no. You are at least you at least you have none. At least you have none. You use every two in your arsenal to actually fight, no matter how dirty. You know, and uh, I, I, I was, I was, I was just like that. You know, I was young once. You know, I was young once, and uh, and the first conversation when I first reached out to um, uh, Wallace Inka, the first conversation I had with him was a debate. Young people are annoying. You know, the first conversation I had with Wallace Inka was a debate. The first one I had with uh, Yellow Shirley was a debate. The first one I had with Femi Falano was kind of a debate because I actually had disagreement with them things that they said in the past. That I actually disagree with, and uh, it didn't. I didn't understand. Until I actually tried to do my own thing, I actually tried to have my own plan for this country, that that is not the way to go about it. Of course, you can disagree with what they stand for. Of course, of course you can you know, not help some people that you disagree with, but it doesn't mean you should insult them. It doesn't mean you should go for their food. It doesn't mean they are working for the establishment. They are just different. But you, you this generation, you don't know that. So why are they like that? I uh, why are they like that? I I I I think there's something that happens to people when they, before they reach the right at the age thirty and thirty four thirty five, you know they they said you know they were like you once honestly they were like you once they were ignorant and blind, I mean they were you know they had the they had no self control, uh, uh they were just as annoying. And but they were like you once, and and they believe they believe that they can actually change, they could actually change the world. They believed it, so you know. But now they can see your naivety and can uh, and they believe that it is. Uh, they believe they see optimism and they think it is naivety. They see optimism and they think it is naivety. Ah uh, yeah, yeah. So so it happens to people around the thirty two. I think you know they said to you know. 30, 32, they said to they feel like uh, when they look at the plans for their lives, they see that the time is up and the time is no longer enough. And the time is no longer enough. And they can't actually achieve as much as they thought. They can't actually do the things as much as they thought. And they feel like, wow, that is the way the world really was. And their way of seeing the world when they were younger was uh, wasn't valid. I think they are wrong, actually. I think they are wrong. I think you are right. I think this generation is right that you know that we can still we can actually understand the world. We can actually solve the world. We can actually change the world. Uh, but the thing is that uh, some only a very few people, and I've met a very few people like uh, Femi Falano. There are the very few people that actually you know have this you know a compliment, right? A compliment have this childlike approach, even at old age, to the world and the optimism of what can be, you know. The kind that child like approach that does like how 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 beautiful their dream was when they were younger when they were just children they took that to in, into their old age and they can see, look at the youth and actually be and actually marvel and actually say these people actually believe in something just like what you're saying because I've met these people I've met I, I communicate with these people and I've met them of course you but you, you you yourself you actually believe that you work with the work a lot of them actually work with Wallace work with the establishment and you know uh they work, it works with the establishment and and honestly you do not you do you uh, uh you don't you do not have a line and uh, you show them and to, to make these things what's cooler it would have been easier if you just told them as different and to make things worse you know you organized and went for their jobs. Just for having a political disagreement, you went for their jobs. A more like and this was this is the disdain that this is the disdain that they all are about. And if from now, you know, there's now a coalition between boomers and millennials. They have this kind of disdain towards, you know, they just feel like you don't know what you are talking about because all, you, you you go on the internet and you and talk nonsense all the time, you know. You talk nonsense and, uh, uh, all the time. You know, you don't know what you're talking about. It's all, it's all about sex and it's all, it's all not serious with you. I mean, you use catchphrases like rest, you know. You use words like, uh, we all, when someone shares the bad news, share the bad news, you, know, you, you you are like, oh, we all be here together to laugh. You know, uh, this is what your generation does. Uh, 
and just like it was it, it was predictable that was it was generation that it was it is a generation that would join the obedience movement you know and you took this to the obedience movement you know you took this to be to, to into the obedience obedience movement and you can see the generational segregation again the generational segregation again they went with uh they didn't particularly vote for tinobu they didn't tell you to vote for tinobu they didn't tell you to vote for tinobu. but they were looking forward to it just like you were looking you are, you are looking forward to the destruction of nigeria because there is a different president. They're also looking forward to Tunubu to teach you. Uh, to, they were looking forward to Tunubu for you to lose the election and see that your you money on each but your power is not was is nothing. What really annoys them is how you can come together in groups and actually express irrational opinions and actually express ir- irrational opinions. And uh, just like I said, you fight the tea. This generation actually fights the tea. And just like boomers, you know, they resorted to the same tactics they used in suppressing us. In suppressing them you know they can see the laws that were used created to actually oppress people like cyber stalking right cyber stalking uh defamation of character posting to annoy individuals you know and those those tools those uh laws that basically mean anything in nigeria that basically mean anything they've used it and they can rejoice you can actually see sega actually rejoicing when Nathaniel Bassi was actually suing people, you know, of course, this generation you spread spread a lot of false information online, you know, you spread a lot of false information online, and your generation, this generation, most of them are too gullible to actually vet this information, and they spread it without a second thought, you know, they spread this, they, they spread this false information, and the way threats can be spammed, it brings it to the top of of their consciousness. Threats can be spammed in a way that. A few people can be a few group of people can be talking about something, and they will spam the thread in Twitter's thread in a in, 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 trend in a way that it feels like the whole country is talking about it, you know. And they feel like this is you know that like, there are many more gold people, many more stupid people than they actually imagine. There are many a lot of stupid people in, in this country, but not as much as uh, as they think, you know. Not not uh, as as much as they can as as they think. Just like you, their goal is actually to. Is actually to, you know, they are not. To, it is, this is not about. This is not about uh, uh, restitution. I mean the laws. I mean the uh, charges. Is not about restitution. It is not about restitution. They are not looking for you to actually pay back what they've lost. Most of them haven't lost a lot to your gullibility. You know, they haven't lost a lot to your gullibility. They haven't lost, uh, uh, and the uh, uh, and the few that have lost some things can are not are not the ones really looking for restitution. Their goal is just that. It's not for you to be careful. It's for you to show up. Honestly, for you to be careful, they're not. They don't, they don't want you to. They, they want to scare you into shutting up. And that it's fair because they know many of these cases, these defamation cases, can be won in court. You know they have to actually express to the judge, show the judge that you were you were uncertain about the info- you were certain about the information that the information was wrong before they can actually win any case, and they've actually faced some kind of persecution through the information you actually uh, you spread. You know, you know. So these are difficult charges to prove in court, and but that is not there. They are not looking for for to win. They are looking to scare you, and just like you. They are, they, they are no not any different just like this generation they are not any different you know you you will rejoice to see nigeria turn to nothing because uh you, the you, the president you uh you you were voting for didn't win the election and you yourself and they are also they, they, they are happy to actually erode and excavate every single veneer of uh, freedom of, 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 of expression left in this country just to show you that you are stupid so you are not any different both of you both of you, both of you guys are not any different. You are so much alike, and uh, I have nothing for both generations: the boomers, the millennials, and uh, the Gen Z and the Gen X. I don't have nothing for you but uh, disappointment. And honestly, I don't know how to actually turn the stupid people to reasonable people, you know. But what I can actually say is that this country it is morally deformed. I don't know how to teach you guys. I will be having a conversation with Stephen Pinker soon on this particular topic. But this country is morally deformed.